yeah, I think it's over here. It's always challenging cricket. Um, you know, to win a Test match here, it's a, it's always a long haul. So you got to you got to dig in. And I think yeah, the credit to the Pakistanis um, for the yeah the first two sessions that they dug in and put us under a lot of pressure. And we tried bowl and we tried a lot of different things, but they dug in. But I think um, credit has to go to us after the break. I think to go in and um, tee it. None for 200, um, and to finish, you know, three for 50 in the second, uh, in the third session there, finish strong. I think that's credit to us, and um, it gives us a good platform starting out tomorrow. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we just we, we're still positive. We're still up and about. We knew that they'd batted well. I think um, the wicket hadn't offered a lot. Um, there wasn't a lot of movement um, as such yet. Um, so we knew we, we just had to keep grinding and. Um, and, and we got, that, got close to that uh, reverse swing early on, um, but it probably took us a bit, a bit longer. Being a day one wicket, it's always a lot harder. But um, yeah, as we uh, saw this after this evening, that once that ball started reversing, um, yes, it was a little bit soft. But uh, yeah, we had a, got, saw some inroads, and I think you know the boys stuck together, and um, we had some really good partnerships al along there to be able to maintain that through the whole session. And I think that's credit to the whole bowling group. Yeah, that's right. I think you know it's it's always a, a tough challenge going over to the different um, Asian uh, conditions and you know digging in with the heat. But I think you know the boys handled it really well. Um, today was yeah one of the cooler days we've had since we've been here. So that was quite refreshing actually walking out there this morning and um, a little less humidity. So that that was nice for the boys. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to be about how we back up tomorrow. Obviously, we have got the new ball um, ready to go whenever we want to take that. So um, we'll have some discussions tonight whether we stick with this one for a little bit or take it straight away and go from there but I think you know there yeah, was well toiled by us and you know you look at it at tea time could have been a lot worse so I think yeah the way the boys came out the way we challenged and, uh, and built the pressure um, yeah obviously tops off a, a nice day for us. No I don't think so I think you know it's, it's day one of a wicket over here I think I played here the last time we travelled here and it didn't spin for about three days so I don't think um, you know, we're going to be too worried about uh, uh, what, what we've got, I think our lineup's beautiful, and I think you know the way we went about it and the way that we finished at the back end of the day. You could see that it's starting to spin a bit sharper and um, some things happening. So I think you know that's where tomorrow's going to come into play. You know, start well, hopefully get a couple of early wickets, and then um, and go from there. Yeah, I think it's, it's it's always funny for the other blokes out in the field to see when one of the teammates are cramping up. But um, yeah, no, he's feeling all right. Just a little bit of cramp, you know. He he, he toiled hard. He's always going to be used in a lot of a lot of short spells throughout the day, and I think that's um, what he, what's come. He's come to expect that if we get a wicket late, um, especially if a tail ender comes in, that he's usually the man to get thrown the ball again. So yeah, it was great um, to fight from him to to finish uh, off there and got close, but not close enough. So yeah, he'll rest up tonight. He, he was fine coming off and just a little bit of cramp, and which is always a good little laugh for the rest of the boys. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just about yeah trying to maintain those good partnerships and build pressure. Um, I think I've, I've done a lot of bowling over the years with spinners and especially Nath. So um, to dig in and bowl a bowl long spell with him um, and, and, and have the impact that we did, I think at that time was very crucial for the team. And yeah, it was, it was nice to yeah get that breakthrough and you know just just get yourself in a bit of a role. And I think um, the way yeah, but like I said, everyone around that um, that last session bowled superbly. I think building pressure bowling partnerships, things that we've spoken a lot about in the lead-up. Um, yeah, that last session pretty much summed up what, what we've been working on. Yeah, obviously I've played a lot with him over the years and, and watched him bowl, and I think today, yeah, he wasn't far off bowling, bowling his best. But, yeah, it did look like they were a lot more aggressive against him and um, sitting on Nath a little bit. Um, but, like I said, once we, we saw later in the day there that there was, there was starting to grip a little bit more, there was a little bit of spin and bounce that, um, you know, he started to trouble him. And I think that showed with the wicket that he got, uh, a, couple, a couple of close little calls along the way, that uh, it isn't going to be as easy to do that um, going forward in the rest of this match. So I think it's going to take a lot more calculated batting. Um, but I think the way he dug in and, and kept going, obviously you have to, but... Um, sometimes it can be hard, you can lose your way, um, but he, he pulled it back nicely and yeah, to get that breakthrough at the end was a, a great reward for us. Yeah, it sort of has been. It's, it's nearly 10 years to the day since I went on my first tour with Australia, so um, to see these young boys getting presented their caps and, um, and the excitement that they've had in the lead up, it's, it's sort of been exciting for me, not just for obviously being around the group, but yeah, seeing them up and about and um, and just yeah, getting another opportunity. I think you know I've always dreamt of playing for Australia again in the last few years, but um, I've concentrated a lot on just yeah, just performing wherever I played. And 
yeah, today was a, a nice, nice little reward, I guess, for the, the time that I've put in off the, off the park and for all the other teams I've played for in the last 18 months to, yeah, to be able to get back out there and pull on the baggy green and, you know, walk out there with those three young guys just starting their journey. No, it wasn't too bad. It's, it, was, it was all right. I need to get on the other side of the field in the afternoon session. The shade comes in a little bit earlier, so I think that'll be me tomorrow. But I think, yeah, it's just, just getting used to bowling those longer spells in the heat. You can do as much preparation as you want uh, in, the, in the nets. But, um, but like I said, yeah, it was actually a, a cooler day than we've had in, um, in the lead-up. So it was actually quite refreshing to, to get through what we did today. And I think, you know, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we can come out and get a few wickets early and get them out there. Oh, it's going to be hard to say. You don't know how much it's going to deteriorate from now till then. So I guess you can probably ask whoever comes in here on the, the day four night and see <laughs> see what it's going to be like batting then. But at this stage, um, yeah, it's the wicket's unknown, isn't it? We know it took a little bit of spin, but it's been pretty flat all day. Um, all I can go on is, yeah, the last series here and the wicket stayed pretty flat for a long period of the test matches. Um, most test matches go for five days over here to get a result. So... We're, we're planning on going the full, the full length, hopefully winning, yeah, late, late in day five. That's the plan. Um, we'll dig in and whatever the conditions, um, you know, we, we get on that, that last day, we'll be digging in to finish off the game. Last question. Oh, I think it's, you, know, you don't really worry too much about those things. I think once you've got the ball in your hand and, and you want to go out there, you just want to play your role whenever, whenever it's your turn. And I think um, the boys showed that, especially obviously the quicks, myself and Starkey. And, you get that ball, you just got to make the most of it. Um, especially once it started to reverse it, it gives you a little bit of a, a pep up anyway um, late in the day. So you just got to keep digging in. And I think, um, yeah, all the work, like I said previously, the work we've put in over the last couple of weeks here, um, I think it showed today that even the boys buzzing around in the field, stopping runs where they had to, to be able to only go for 50 runs at the back end of a day when a team's none down at T. I think that's uh, yeah, a tremendous effort from the whole group to, to be able to, yeah, Obviously, you know, restrict them to that, um, but get it, get wickets along the way. I think it showed, you know, the hard work we've put in is paying off. Nah, he's, he, was, he was cramping from about um, yeah, about an hour out, so um, yeah, he was struggling. Uh, so, but um, yeah, like I said, he, it, long, long days and first test is always hard. You 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 use up so much energy build in building up for that first match and building up in that first sleep that um, day one is usually the hardest day just because you're so hyped to get into it. Um, but, um, yeah, the boys will be good. We'll be all right to go tomorrow morning. And